I was 16 when I was diagnosed as a type 1 diabetic. It was a week before my 17th birthday. I do remember feeling very scared. I knew a lot about the condition already because my younger brother had already had type 1 diabetes for a period of time. So I did know a lot of those impacts that were about to start impacting my life. I've always loved exercising and sport long before I was diagnosed as a diabetic. After my diabetes diagnosis and later in life, I found a passion for endurance exercise and got into running marathons. I'm currently a road cyclist. My diabetes educator had heard about my recent failed marathon, which she thought could have been through a lack of diabetes management and asked me about, well, have you thought about trying an insulin pump? At the time, I wasn't interested. However, she managed to convince me to attend a information evening about insulin pumps. I learned some more and decided that the insulin pump was for me and found that I had some great results following that decision. When I was diagnosed with diabetes, both my brother and I were using multiple daily injections. I was the first to go into an insulin pump. Very quickly after that, my brother saw the benefit and then he too, after many years of type 1 diabetes, went to an insulin pump. I remember being in a race where I was using continuous glucose monitoring with my insulin pump, and I remember hearing this beep, 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 and I grabbed my insulin pump, and it was telling me that my sugar level was getting outside the limits I'd set, and that it was actually too high. That meant that I wasn't too far away from my performance starting to suffer. I was able then on the bike in the race, able to have some insulin, my sugar level came back down to the range I wanted, and I finished the race well. Without that ability, I would never have been able to make that decision because I wouldn't have had access to that information. And because the effects of exercise and especially racing can affect you for 24, 48 hours after that event's finished, and sometimes that can mean overnight lows, which can be quite dangerous and sometimes you can be unaware of them, you do have a lot more peace of mind when you go to bed the night after a race when you've got CGM because you know you're gonna get some warning when that occurs. Yeah, having a pump really does change your social life. The first thing that comes to mind for me is going out for dinner with friends. So you'll go out for dinner and entree served. And you've got to decide then when you want to have an insulin injection right then for the entree. Now I simply just have to bolus when the meal arrives and I have no issues. There's so many myths about using an insulin pump and they really are myths. The first step people have got to take is to get that information. That was the huge awakening for me. I thought I knew everything about type 1 diabetes. I've grown up in a family where all the kids had type 1 diabetes. I really didn't know that much about insulin pumps. I'm so glad that I went to one information evening that changed my life.